It's been a long time since I have got a taste of a flagship. I mean, having a phone with Snapdragon 800 series has been a long time dream until OnePlus came into the market. They cleared the dump and gave a unique name for themselves by dropping the prices of Snapdragon 800 series phones. Now, as days have passed with the OnePlus 2, 3, 3T, 5 and the 5T and now the 6, it has been increasing its price with the phones they launched and OnePlus 6 has gone till 35k for its phone which supports the same Snapdragon 845 as the Poco F1 and the Poco F1's pricing is 20999 for the 6GB 64GB variant that's very cool you get a lot for such a cheap price Hello friends, this is Ishwa here and in this video let's unbox the POCO F1. On the back we have the information and key features of the smartphone itself. Instead of reading this, let us just open up the box. Wow, yellow and black colors combined together looks stunning and different from usual boxes. First we get our regular leaflets with the case pre-included which is great. The case is rubberish and gives some grip. Nice move by Xiaomi. Keeping that aside, we get the POCO F1 itself. Now, this is the steel blue colored variant which comes with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Keeping the phone aside, we get the quick charge 3.0 supported adapter and a micro USB type C cable. We also get the SIM ejector tool which is mandatory for inserting the SIM cards. Coming back to the phone, it feels very good in hand, although the back isn't made of glass. The volume rockers are tactile. The POCO F1 measures 155 x 75 x 8 in height, width and th thickness and weighs about 182 grams. There's a SIM tray to the left which is a hybrid SIM slot meaning it will support either two SIM cards or one SIM and one memory card at a time. The SIM cards are nano in size. On the top, we get the slowly blurring out of the market thing which is the headphone jack. Very happy that Xiaomi still keeps it. The IR blaster isn't present here to control your electronic appliances. On the bottom, there is the speaker grill, quick charge 3.0 supported USB type C port and the primary microphone. On the back, we have the dual cameras, dual LED flash fingerprint scanner and the POCO logo itself. As far as the cameras are concerned, the POCO F1 packs a 12 megapixel f1.1 1.4 micron plus 5 megapixel f2.0 1.12 micron cameras on the rear. It can shoot up to 2160p at 30fps and 1080p at 30fps, 1080p at 240fps for the slow motion. It has the electronic image stabilization enabled and in the future maybe 60fps shooting could be included via updates. Here are some photos shot by Mr. Baiju. The pictures took with this phone are looking stunning. On the front, we have the notch which has the necessary sensors like the proximity sensor and the IR sensor for face data. We have a 20 megapixel front shooter for selfies. This phone comes with a 6.18 inch 18-9 touchscreen display with a resolution of 1080p pixels by 2246 pixels. Down at the very bottom, we get the notification LED which lights up for notification and for showing the battery signals. The phone runs on Snapdragon 845 chipset. The CPU is Octa-Core which has 4 into 2.8 GHz. Cryo 385 Gold and 4 into 1.8 GHz Cryo 385 Silver. The GPU which is required for most of the graphics related stuff is the Adreno 630 in the POCO F1. The temperature is cooled by the liquid cooling system 
All these run with the help of a 4000 mAh battery with the MIUI 9 Android Oreo on top of it. MIUI 10 is also available as a developer beta update. Xiaomi has said to release the Android Pie update in the fourth quarter of 2018, that is, we can expect it in the late October. And Poco F1 has now reset the pricing screen scheme like what OnePlus did and it is a big game changer for all the other com competitors. Let us wait and see what else Poco does with their upcoming phones. I hope I have covered the necessary entities of the Poco F1 in this unboxing. We do have a telegram group in which we have a lot of tech talks. If you haven't yet joined it, links are down in the description. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you would like to share this video to your friends, hit the share button. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace.